Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my half marathon series. episode five we're getting down to the end of it um and today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people ask me how to actually enjoy running um and it is kind of one of those things where it's hard to explain it's hard to kind of get it out there i actually had someone recently ask me why i enjoy running um and for me it is so mentally um cleansing it is mentally challenging um and i mean of course it's physically challenging but it's i just find such peace um at when i'm running after i'm running um yeah so it's just kind of one of those things that i've just loved to do for years and it's um it's a challenge and I love a good challenge. Um, but today we are going to be talking about how to actually enjoy running. I'm not bringing any science into this. Um, I don't, I personally don't think there's a lot of science into this. I think there are some things you can do to enjoy running. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm keeping the science out of this one and I'm going to give you guys some of my tips, um, for how I actually enjoy running um and that kind of stuff so my first tip for me it is about where i run and when i say that i mean location where i run um whether it's a trail whether it's around my neighborhood whether it is on a beach whatever it may be find the place that you truly love to run where it is peaceful for you where it is nice where the environment around you helps you um, I have a few different places, whether it is a short run or a long run, it kind of, uh, differs for me. So if it's a long run, um, I go to what is here in North Carolina, the American tobacco trail, which is just this, I literally think it's almost 30 miles of gravel trail that you can run on. Um, and there are different points where you can pick it up at and it is fantastic I do that for my long runs because it just it's great for my um, Great for my body. It's not as hard to run on um, And then when I'm doing my shorter runs, I'll do um, There's a Falls of the Noose trail down here that literally goes along with the river um, And it is so peaceful. It's like you hear the birds the water is right next to you and everything like that It's a very nice trail um, it has rolling hills. It's it's a little bit on the flatter side, but it's still nice because you do still get some incline. Um, but for me, if I am then looking for something a little challenging, I will run around my neighborhood because my neighborhood is just pure hills. Um, and sometimes it's just a good challenge. So that is my biggest tip. Find um, a place that you that is like the environment helps you i know this might take some trial and error i know it may not work every time you run um but let me tell you the environment that you are running in and the trails or where you are running makes such a big difference as to how you like how you enjoy your run um my second tip and what i have been preaching to y'all about is listen to your body Listen to your body because if you listen to your body and if you're not having a good run, stop, please just stop. Because if you continue, you mentally are psyching yourself out to the fact where you're just like, it gets worse and worse and worse. And then it leads you to not want to run anymore. Um, so I truly believe, I mean, we all have our bad runs. We all have our good runs and it's a part of running, but I truly believe like, listen to your body listen to what it's telling you i was supposed to do eight miles two weeks ago um i was fully hydrated perfectly hydrated 
Um, went out there. I had a feeling beforehand things were going to go quite right. I got to six and a half miles out of my eight and my body just said, you're done. Um, no, I didn't get injured. I didn't pass out or anything like that. My body just said it was tired. It was done. We were finished for the day. And I fully listened to it and was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to keep pushing myself to extremes where I'm going to leave myself to get injured, hurt, or like I said, pass out to where that just doesn't do any good for anybody. Um, so listen to your body is my tip number two. Um, tip number three, mix in some different types of running, some different workouts with it. And when I say different types of running, there are what we like to call tempo runs. You can do hill workouts. You can do um, sprints on a track. You can do different things that will help you kind of, if you're looking to increase speed, whatever it may be, those kinds of things are fun to work in. They're challenging, um, but they are fun because they kind of give you a different running workout that is different from just say going and running five miles. So I would for sure say if you're kind of feeling bored with just the regular mileage, mix in some of that kind of stuff. Some hill workouts are, I mean, I do a quarter of a mile hill workouts um, and they, you do six of those and they will kick your butt. Um, and then when I say mix in other types of workouts, I mean like do some strength training, some boxing, some stuff like that that helps you work on your agility, your speed, stuff like that. Um, boxing helps with your breathing. So I like to do boxing um, because that really helps me with the in the nose, out the mouth kind of breathing. So I would suggest that. Um, and it's just great to kind of mix things up and make it so you're not doing the same thing every day for workouts. Um, and it's fun. Why not make it fun? How to enjoy running, make it fun. Tip number four, and probably this is my last one. This is kind of, you're gonna look at me and be like, really Danielle? Why? Why include this? Um, because for me, whether some people listen to music, some people don't. Some people like to listen to their own breathing and the footsteps and everything. Great for you. I applaud you because that you have some mental strength. Um, I personally have started doing one AirPod in, one AirPod out so I could listen to my breathing and my feet. But my tip number four is to have a kick butt playlist. For me, I have a, a running playlist and it is filled with all kinds of different music um, that just is super motivating for me that I that pumps me up and gets me ready to go, makes me wanna run through a brick wall kind of situation, but it makes it fun for me to run to um, and ha have some fun with it and just kind of every now and then you sing along a little bit. Um, but have a great playlist. It, if you listen to music, that is so, so important. I used to, I don't know if I've ever said this, I used to listen to uh, the movie Miracle when I run my half marathons. Um, it's about the 1980 USA hockey team. And for me, hockey is a big thing in my life. Shocking. Um, but it's so motivational, it's so inspiring. So, and I know every word of it. Um, so I used to listen to it and I could literally, it got to the point where I could literally see it in my head um, while I was running. So it's kind of one of those, just find what you like to listen to and get it going. And it's just fun. It makes fun, uh, running a little bit more enjoyable. If you have some other tips for ways that you enjoy running, that you have found that you enjoy running, please comment them down below. I want to hear them. Um, those are kind of just my four basic tips. Like I said, I didn't want to go into any science of it because um, I don't know. I don't know truly believe that there's really any science that says, oh, you're this is going to make you faster. This is but, you know, enjoy running, enjoy it, have some fun with it, um, mix things up. It'll make a huge difference in your life. It'll make it, like I said, not a regular or oh, we're going to do five miles, five miles. Add some stuff into it. Make it a little bit more fun and enjoyable. So 
those are my four tips you guys um, like I said, please comment your stuff down below. I want to hear what y'all are doing in your running lives right now. Um, what y'all are doing in your fitness journeys, everything. So comment all that down below and you guys, we're getting closer to the half marathon and it's virtual. Of course, I'm doing it here, but I'm taking you guys along for it. And the next episode you will see is my race day tips. We're getting close. Um, but yeah, so please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you guys back here next time. Bye y'all.